Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you my workaround for importing a CSV file with recurring appointments into Google Calendar because by default it won't do it with the CSV file. So I have a CSV file already running and the header row up here is the correct header row. I did add one column called recurring and I marked my events as either no or yes and then I did a sort so all my recurring appointments are together. So these three right here I want to make recurring and so here's what I would do. First of all I'm just going to decide how many years out I want to take them so I'm going to stop right there and then you're going to write an Excel function the date function equals date then the word year I'm going to reference that first cell and I'm going to add one year to it so B4 plus 1 comma then the month's exactly the same and then the day I got 3-5-2018 and it was 2017 so it's working so then you can just auto fill down if by chance you get this don't get alarmed click a date format painter and handle it that way then the next thing you need to do is I'm gonna just select all the dates do a copy this is pretty simple if you've been using Excel before and just do a paste values same thing right here paste values there's that date going haywire once again who cares click the correct date format painter drag over them then let me show you how to handle this so Bill's birthday is an all-day event Karen's birthday is an all-day event but annual trainings at 830 so I highlighted those three I'm going to get autofill, but I'm holding down the control key. And if you notice, autofill has a plus symbol next to it. So it'll keep that 830 time. One more time, control, autofill. And then this looks like it's all the same. I don't even care about this, to be honest with you. I was just, that's just to get them all together to begin with. And the final thing to do is to click down here at the bottom, save it, make sure it's still a CSV file. Yes. The header row is row one. I stopped at 15, so it should import 14 events. Let's test it. Close this. I'm already in my calendar. Settings, import calendar. I believe that was called recurring import I, I've already done this once before but it did pull in all 14 so it is working if I go back here let me test one I have annual training I know in January there it is January 4th I'm in 2018 Let's jump to January 2019, annual training. Let's jump to 2020, annual training. So it is working. Anyway, that's how you take care of it. Hope, hopefully that helps. Thanks.